Commentary games! Commentary! Hello, this is a Jack of Strategy Games Commentary bringing you a free v free on Supreme Commander 2. The map is Igneous, I think I'm pronouncing that correct, and we've got the teams there. We've got myself, Gaz, and Binary as Team 1, and as Team 2 we have Dirty Lobster, Supreme, and the person in the back is Darkest Asin. Should be an interesting game. Both teams have two UEFs and an Aeon player. So it'll be an interesting competition of tactics. I mean, you've got a tactic for land, air, and naval in this map, so we'll see what people do. I can assure you, my team, I am focusing on land, obviously. I'm at the front. What else am I going to do? Air is not exactly a good choice. We've got Binary, who's going for the air factory as well. We've got Gaz, who's also going air. Sadly, we're, we're ignoring naval on this map for now. Hopefully, we won't have to deal with any cruisers. You can see both Supreme and Lobster are pushing up the middle. Lobster's already bought a land factory. So far no factories from the uh, Supreme but it's like someone on their team just indicated to Supreme to build a naval factory but it doesn't look like he's gonna. And as ob as it is obvious, Dark Assassin in the back going air. So it's a good choice but sadly with both Gaz and Binary going air Dark Assassin does not stand a chance. You can see here, Lobster's pushed up in the middle and building the factory there, just as Supreme has. I'm building my factories on the north and south side of the island, hopefully outside radar range. At the very least, I'm trying to make them think that both our front guys have gone land, so they'll be a bit more cautious on the land. That's the idea anyway. If they realise both of our team went air, it could be a bit of a problem, but they're going to have that realisation any moment now as Dark scouts over Binary, but he might have been too far away from that air factory to notice it. But he is turning around and he is going for the mass point. Which is unfortunate as no one has any interceptors to speak of yet. But they now see Binary's planes, so that ruse is out the basket now. And I'm sure they'll be countering that soon enough. But there's nothing Dark can do about it, but at least Lobster and Supreme can spam some more AA. Just to give Dark a little helping hand in the defensive. But other than letting him get that chance here, go on the offensive. Pushing up against Lobster, trying to kite his Titans here. They are faster, but I just need to kite them long enough to inflict a lot of damage. Just like that. You can see Lobster and Supreme's tactic here. Lobster's gone all Titans, Supreme's gone all Demolishers. It's quite the evil combination, and I'm going to have great difficulty trying to kite around. Trying to kite the Titans while the Demolishers are shooting away. You can see Binary with some spare masses to send about some point defence which will be helpful. And you have the bombing run from Dark, but he only gets three tanks, so it's a foiled attempt, fortunately for me. I can't bear to lose any tanks, and he comes for another bombing run. He gets two more tanks, almost kills a third one there again. Right, here comes Gaz coming in to deal with those planes. And as well as Supreme is trying to be on the offensive here, but with purely demolishers, it's not too difficult to dodge them, so long as I maintain a zigzag formation. I will take the odd hit every now and then, but I can still dodge most of it, which is what's important. But getting close enough to actually return fire is a troublesome part. Looks like Dark. Uh, looks like Gaz actually dealt with Dark there, pushed them away. Dark grouping up his planes over there, going around for a sneak attack it seems, and Gaz with four bombers. What can they do? Apparently killed two tanks, and is he going to continue bombing them? Yes he is. And then there are two tanks. This could work, but looks like they're both attacking now. Lobster are going bottom, looks like Supreme's coming from my tanks, he's determined to get them while I'm not paying attention, but... I start fading away from Lobster and going straight for Supreme. I want those demolishers dead. I have to do something about it. So, logic would lead me to believe that the best way to deal with demolishers is to get something out of range of them. Yeah, I'm talking about that sniper bot. Yep, that should help counter the demolishers for now. Not including the point of it, I'm, it's rather surprising I'm holding the land by myself against two people, but then again, it looks like Supreme's going for uh, fat boys, which is a big problem for me. 
It's going to force me to engage them in their base, which is not favourable in the slightest. And it looks like both Supreme and Lobster are getting AA out now, which is unfortunate. But both Gaz and Binary are going in for attack on Dark's air, not caring for all the AA that's on the ground there. Um, the combined force of planes is just far too much. And Dark is quickly extinguished and now is the time to go for more planes. Off they go, hunting the planes down, but Gaz seems to be preoccupied with his AC-1000 and isn't helping Binary in the slightest. Dark's got some planes in the middle, they're just sitting around. The only defense he has of his planes are the mobile AA. But that AC-1000 is actually dying. And here comes the planes to wipe it out. And it's a quick death. And lots of trying to after him past my sniper bots and tanks. But sniper bots are brilliant, as well as the three AC-1000s Gaz has, so I don't have to bother chasing them much further. I still got the biggest problem of Supreme, who's actually moving out with his land force and his fat boy now, which is a big problem for me. I have nothing to counter the fat boy, but luckily it's stuck on Lobster's com, and the longer they don't notice that, the better for me. Looks like Lobster's not it now, and he's moved out of the way. Hopefully, these three AC one thousands can deal with the fat boy quick enough. He's going for the attack on the fat boy, and it's quickly dealt with. Time to retreat. Just as well, because that AC-1000 almost died. Dark slowly rebuilding the river and he's claiming extra mass points that we've ignored. Good thing both our team have went, both my team I should say, has went air. Although Binary is now the only one building interceptors, Gaz has went full on AC-1000. We're going to need that. Here come the demolishers, just using my sniper bot to inflict as much damage as possible. I will load the front line to the... Demolishers, but I do believe I inflicted a whole lot more damage. Now it's just a now it's just a case of playing the waiting game. I'm waiting for them to push out to attack me, or waiting for Gaz to kill one of their comms, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Here they go. There's seven, eight, eighty-one thousands here. That's more than enough to kill this comm quickly, and there it goes. Boom. Ah, there we go. And there's most of the demolishers dealt with. Now it's just Lobster's army. I can push in without. Worry. Dark is they're bombing me, but well, so is all those interceptors. There goes another calm. That was Lobster's calm, and they did get most of my sniper bots, but I still have most of my tanks, so I'm still ready to go on offensive here. The majority of Lobster's land forces AA, so I can easily walk over him. I just have to make sure he doesn't try to afterburn past me and go to my base. That could hurt a lot. So I'm just trying to, you see me here trying to cut him off so he doesn't charge past me. Once again, Gaz loses an AC-1000, it looks like he's going to lose another one there. And there it goes. And here we go, all those AA. He's using those AA as a shield and he's getting past. He's getting past, but not many are surviving. And there's the afterburn, albeit far too late. And I have an Air Force belt ready to deal with it and they're not getting anywhere. And Lobster gives up, so it's now just between. It's now just Dark and Supreme left. Well, it looks like Supreme's out anyway. He's only got a single factory, a single engineer, nothing built. Supreme's pretty much out of this, so it's all up on Dark. Hopefully, he can recover from the devastation that he's received from two swarms of interceptors, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. It's a lot of planes. Heading towards Dark's land, uh, air force there. But is it enough? Dark has flares now, so he could easily win an outgunned fight. But it's not going to help him for long. See these two swarms here? Yep. Hover units are awesome. I'm coming for you, Dark. It looks like he's also got Scorch Bombs as well. Yep, that is Scorch Bombs as well. Gaz is nowhere to be seen. He's too busy defending his AC-1000s and he does distract Dark's air force away. All the while, there goes Dark's calm. Now it's just a case of mopping up the buildings. Supreme's last engineer is gone. Supreme control case, everything he's got left, and now it's... Now it's over. 
There's nothing dark can do. It is over. Considering it was 2v1 in the middle here, me against Lobster and Supreme, I am totally surprised that I managed to hold my own. Sure enough, Binary's point defence helped a bit. And later on, Gazzy's AC1000s, but that initial first 5-10 to 10 minutes of holding the middle really mattered. If I couldn't have held that, there would be nothing Binary or Gaz could have done to stop the land horse. It was all resting on me at the beginning of the game, and holding my own certainly paid off. Hope you enjoyed the game, you can check out my channel for more, and you can always subscribe. So, yeah.